A giant free trade agreement is currently being negotiated between the European Union and the US government. Hidden within this deal are plans to include rules to give investors the right to sue governments. Many fear their inclusion presents a grave threat to democracy, public funds and the development of public policy. These rules, officially known as Investor State Dispute Settlement Clauses, are found in many international trade and investment agreements mostly signed since the 1990s. They give investors based in a country where the agreement was made the ability to sue another signatory state if its policies have resulted in reduced profits. Investors are increasingly using these clauses to sue governments for billions of dollars. In 2012, 58 new claims were filed against states, the highest number ever filed in one year. Foreign investors and their lawyers and law firms are becoming more and more creative at the kinds of government decisions that they're attacking. Fifteen years ago there were virtually no awards and very few cases and now there are several hundred. That's a very large number in the context of international law and international adjudication. Investors are suing on a whole range of government policies. American tobacco giant Philip Morris is suing Uruguay for two billion US dollars over health warnings on cigarette packs. Swedish energy firm Vattenfall is seeking over 3.7 billion euros from Germany because of a decision to phase out nuclear power following the Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan. And Canadian mining company Lone Pine is using a US subsidiary to sue the Canadian government for $250 million after Quebec placed a moratorium on fracking over environmental concerns. It could be that all these actions have got a freezing effect on policy discretion, that states do no longer want to run the risk of doing things that displease investors. Sometimes the mere threat of an investor-state dispute can be enough to kill legislation just because the policymaker is afraid of being sued. So that shows that investor-state disputes are actually also an enormous threat to our democracy. Both the United Nations and the International Monetary Fund have warned that investor rights in trade agreements can severely curb a state's ability to respond in times of financial crisis. When a country is in an economic crisis, it needs to adapt all kinds of measures to get out of the crisis and also to protect its people from the worst. During Greece's recent economic crash, the government was forced to eliminate a portion of its debt by writing down its government bonds. Hedge funds, banks and other investors lost parts of their investment and now some investors are suing. If any investors win on the basis of a bilateral investment treaty, this will open the floodgates to thousands upon thousands of other claims. Greece remains in a state of crisis, with the population facing job losses, wage cuts and public service closures. One can imagine that if this fiscal gap is broadened by having to pay out millions upon millions of euros in compensation to investors, then it's going to become even more difficult and more painful for the population to find the funds to address these issues. The right that you give to the young people to be able to win the country for the hassle that they have, Ναι, νομίζω ότι είναι πολύ άδικο. Κάποιο, ένα κράτος πρέπει πρώτα να φροντίζει τους δικούς του πολίτες, να φροντίζει για την υγεία, για την παιδεία. Ίσως δεν ξέρω σε χρήμα τι έχουν και... Εμάς η κρίση μας χτύπησε σχεδόν από την αρχή την οικογένειά μου. Ας έχουν και αυτή λίγη χασούρα. Investor state disputes can be a severe burden for public budgets, taking away money that should rather go into education or the funding of hospitals. Investor arbitration creates a separate legal system that allows investors to bypass national courts and bring their cases before an arbitration panel at tribunals such as ICSID. It's perfectly possible that, for example, Vattenfall loses its case in the German Constitutional Court, that the National Court in Germany says, well, the way that Germany got out of nuclear power was perfectly fine, but Vattenfall wins its parallel claim at an international arbitration tribunal and that this tribunal actually says yes, you get 3.7 billion euros in compensation just because the German government got out of nuclear energy. Investor state arbitration is not fair for a very specific reason. Only the companies can sue governments. It's a game in which the governments only get to play defense. 
do the arbitrators not have an economic incentive to favor the claimants? Because if more claims come, the arbitrators will be appointed more and more. These processes, they're not independent, they're not open, they're not procedurally fair, they're not balanced, and they're not democratically accountable. Big business on both sides of the Atlantic is lobbying for investor state arbitration clauses to be included in the EU-US trade deal. In a letter to US negotiators, the energy giant Chevron writes that investor state protection is one of our most important issues globally. If there is inclusion of an investor state arbitration clause within a major deal like a US-EU deal, the signal it gives to the market is that investor rights are paramount. This is problematic. The more we create legal mechanisms that put the investors at ease, the more we risk taking away huge chunks of economic decision making away from the hands of the people that ought to have a say in how their lives are run. Investor state dispute settlement is dangerous, period. But I would say that because of the tremendous amount of corporations that are incorporated both in the United States and the European Union, the liability for both goes up dramatically. This is not a technical issue. It would set a gold standard for investment agreements. This would have dire consequences for citizens. I mean, it's us paying for these lawsuits with our money, and we're talking millions. EU-US negotiators should actually dump investor state arbitration from their negotiation agenda. It should not be included in a future deal. If they include it, environmental organizations, trade unions, public health groups have already announced that they will do everything to define this attack on democracy and policies to protect the public interest.